the leadership style. The time for allocated for him is five to seven minutes. Uh, to evaluate Toastmaster Sunita Pradhananga, we have Toastmaster Amit Maran Shrestha as evaluator. I would like to request Toastmaster Amit to highlight and the objective of his speech. Thank you, Toastmaster of the morning. So today, uh, the purpose of the project is to learn about different style of leadership, and he may speak about how uh, he have uh, he may have encountered this style and talk about his uh, this leadership style impacted in his work or life. Thank you. Thank you. So let us welcome Toastmaster Sunita to rules of leadership. Toastmaster Sunita. Booker T. Washington has said, if you want to lift yourself up, lift up others. Presiding officer, fellow Toastmaster and distinguished guests. I enrolled in Pathway a few months ago. There, was, there were some questions I would click on my views. It said that I, I should, I recommended me to go for dynamic leadership. I completed my level one here in Banisho Toastmaster Club. And when I go for the lead, uh, level two, then I had the same type of questions. So I click on my views and it said that I'm more of a coaching and participative leader than out of authority and I should be better on authority things. So I think that I should give on something on rules, speech on the rules of my leadership style. So these are my two rules in leadership. How many of us think that we are leader? You are leader. Nobody thinks. Okay, oh, yeah. okay somebody, somebody, uh, some, some of you haven't raised the raised the hand. But everybody is a leader. You have to be, have you have to show your leadership somewhere. You have to lead somewhere. You have to influence the people somewhere. So what? So so what? What about uh, the lead? Like uh, what about uh, leadership theories? What does it say? We move back to the 6th century, where Lao Tzu said, a good leader is the one, a great leader is the one, which, in which, in, in which present, uh, where the followers do not know he is present, or they do not know if the leader are present or not. That means if the work is, one work is done, they say that they have been done by their teamwork, not because of the lead so that is great leadership my friend if we go if, if we stay in there in ancient period and and uh, see what jesus christ has said he has said that leadership is all about serving but let us move a bit forward in 16th century craig greenley has said that Leader should have power and they should always exert power. And we are, my friend, still cleaning up his mess. After that, another leadership theory came which said that leaders are born, not made. So if you are born, you are a leader or a follower. Then another put put the salt on, on the at the cut. Then in the scientific management theory, it talks about all the productivity, productivity, and productivity. That means, in the in the less input, you have to have greater output. That is a great leader. A manager is the one which increases productivity. <coughs> then another thing came. That is a trait theory. To be a leader, the person has to be more intelligent, taller. Stronger, maybe one meter. Okay, so <laughs> it is like that. Uh, then came behavioristic theory. There, they have list of things like if you do good with your people or have maintain good relationship and all, <coughs> and you, if you do these the things, and you will be a celebrity CEO. But it is not like that. There is the leadership has to be pros in 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 the context that you are doing so the context is also important so 
this brings to us to the rule number one that is it is not about you it is about the follower you have there is a, there is a saying that uh, a good leader a good leader a good leader is the one which influences his follower to believe in the leader himself but a great leader is the one which influences follower to believe in themselves and my dear friend greener has talked about the same thing in the servant leadership so in the 19th century the servant leadership came but i think they are talking about the same previous things so is that the only thing that is required in the leadership that is it's not about you but we come to the rule number 2 when coming back to rule number 2 i want to talk about different levels of follow level 1 the follower follows you because of your position it is when your employee is in front of the biometric device when the clock ticks 4:55 and they long for five longest minutes okay then when the clock ticks five everyone is rushes to the biometric device <laughs> they sign out and they go <clears throat> another level is the followers know you it has they have it has something like you have something <laughs> that they do not have so they follow but the optimum level is when your followers sorry your your followers be follow you because they they know uh, they know you are what you are and you have that integrity so rule number 2 is my friend it is all about you it is all about you the followers are the reflection of the leaders and nelson mandela has said i can change others as long as i can change until and unless i can change in myself so change is within you nobody is perfect as a leader but with this rule i think it's not all about you but it is all about you rule number 2 they can improve their leadership skills and we are my friend your leadership is asking for simplicity not these kind of all theories and all they are asking for simplicity maybe it's time to hear about our ancestor and what they have seen about leadership thank you thank you